Africa and African Art will open at Wits Art Museum in August uh, this year. This partnership between WAM and Black Like Me, the company who revolutionized the South African hair care industry in the 1980s, will make possible an exciting and highly topical exhibition that celebrates creativity, individuality, innovation in hair styling and art in South Africa. And in other parts of the African continent, joining us in studio to give us more insight about this exhibition is a curator of the exhibition, Jessica Foley, and uh, Laura Becker, who she's exhibiting at the uh, at WAM. Guys, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Good morning. Let, let's start. Give us background into the exhibition as well. How did it start? I mean, I remember there was a competition as well yes. into this. Talk to us about that. Okay. So the project has been um, kind of been developed for over a year. Mm -hmm. So the idea was first introduced, then... Um, we proposed the idea to Black Like Me to partner with us for the exhibition. Then mm. we thought we'd start the kick off the, the exhibition with the hair competition mm -hmm. to attract and draw in um, the local hairdressers within the Bramfontein community. Because yeah. that's what we're really trying to do with the exhibition is to get mainly the Bramfontein community involved. So that's how we started mm. things going with the exhibition. And I'm sure Laura will be able to tell you about the artwork yeah. component of it and how that got going. Talk to us about that, uh, the art component of everything. So um, a very exciting part of the exhibition as well is that we started off as a, um, a group of curators and we involved a lot of students from, from Fitz University, of course, who got involved. And so we divided the exhibition into themes and then depending on which theme people were working on, we contacted artists, both contemporary, but we also um, display a lot of the works from the, the WAM collection, which are more historical pieces. So we're really um, displaying them right next, alongside each other, next to each other. So it's, it's very exciting for us. What came out of that competition? Um, what did you see out of that competition? The great thing with that competition is how students got involved because there were a lot of student hairdressers yeah. and hairstylists that took part and that was the really exciting bit. Um, the winners have been selected and they'll be announced at the opening function um, on Tuesday at half past six, the exhibition opening, and everyone is welcome to come and attend that. Mm -hmm. um, so really that was the exciting thing about it, to see how people were getting involved, um, how they were excited to showcase their hairstyles and their mm -hmm. skills. So that was really, really great. Hair and African art. Talk to us about the uh, significance of the title of the exhibition. Um, basically, we, we, we start thinking about um, the topic of hair because we noticed that it's something that everyone is preoccupied with. It's very important to a lot of people. And um, we also start thinking about a lot of people feel that it's a purely personal choice the way you wear your hair, but actually the exhibition is also showing that it's very culturally determined, sometimes politically determined. Um, so we're, we're exploring that through African artworks and uh, showcasing how, um, depending on how you wear your hair, for example, you can sometimes tell someone's gender, someone's rank in society, uh, both historically speaking and right now. So that's how we started exploring that theme. Today, and today, I mean, you can always tell <laughs> the Brazilian here, the weave. Exactly, yeah. exactly, <laughs> yes. Very you can true. always tell how much money a person has by just Brazilian weave. Okay, talk to us about the, there's a community projects that were involved in this. Talk to us about that. Um, so the main component of that is, um, that was the hairdressing competition right. to get the local um, hairdressers involved in that. And we also have education programs mm -hmm. that run concurrently with the exhibition, a bus sponsorship program that enables us to bring in communities that wouldn't have the opportunity to see art and see that kind of thing. And we bring them into the museum and they're given a special talk about by education curator Lee Blankenberg. Mm -hmm. And they're also given a special education resource and really taken through the exhibition to give um, you know young learners the opportunity to learn about art and be exposed to that within um, the art museum environment. What are you trying to say with this exhibition? Um, what I guess what we're trying to say is that, um, as I said before, everyone thinks hair is important. Um, it is something of all communities, all times. And it's also something that's kind of fun to explore because people can be creative about it. They can uh, relate to the topic. And as, as Jessica just mentioned, it's also a great exhibition for, for younger um, uh, well, students and uh, younger children because everyone knows about it and is, has dealt with it and is, yeah, is working on it. So Favorite basically. pieces? Ooh. <laughs> um, that's, that's tricky. That's like yeah. teasing between your children. Um, 
I think <laughs> that's why I asked yes. this <laughs> I think it's it's very difficult to choose one. I think there's a great variety of works also um, uh, in, in the mediums that we use. So we've got uh, video art, but we also have, for example, this fantastic artist from Cape Town called Suzanne Duncan, who actually makes art out of hair. Yeah. Um, and it's very delicate, it's very intricate, and it's very interesting to look at, I think. Um, but there's such a range of pieces that, well, you just have to come and see the exhibition. <laughs> so Laura mentioned a few of the, those videos as well. Talk to us about the other aspects of, of the exhibition that people can look forward okay. to. Okay. Um, they're also barbershop posters, yes. which are really, really interesting. Yeah. I think people will really love seeing those because it's not something that we see often, those hand-painted mm -hmm. barbershop posters. I think a lot of people would like to see those. We also have um, interesting combs from, I mean, the early 19th century. The Afrocom. Yes. Yeah. It was painful. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I think though, people will really like to see those interesting objects. Mm. Um, so there's a vast variety the of The metal things. one is still there. Yeah, that, the metal one. stuff was painful. <laughs> Why did they put us through that? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for talking to us. So you're on until, when does the exhibition run until? It runs um, from the 20th of August mm -hmm. until the 2nd of November. And we open Wednesdays to Sundays, 10 until 4. All right. Guys, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, Laura, talking to us, Laura uh, Becker and Jessica Foley of the Wits Art Museum. Hair and African Art Exhibition takes place from the 20th, as she said, and runs until uh, November at the Wits Art Museum uh, in Brown Frontier. Let's head over now to Sarah Marshall.